Hey, folks. How y'all doing? It's Pastor Malcolm. In the afternoon. And uh, I'm out here at uh, a place called Mount Gretna, Pennsylvania. Uh, where uh, I've been up here for the last couple of days visiting with some of my uh, daughter, Elizabeth. And uh, we've been uh, checking out uh, some things here in this area and uh, Mount Gretna. And um, we don't get up here enough. My in-laws have this house here and it's a beautiful little place. And uh, unfortunately, it would be nice to get here more often. Sadly, we're uh, kind of busy with life, probably all too much. In fact, um, the way I figure out whether I've been here last is uh, my in-laws have these wonderful books, uh, these daily guideposts all over the house. And uh, when I come here, I, I read the, the devotions for the, uh, the days that we're here. And uh, when I opened up the book, last time we were here was January 17th. Um, that was a very different world than the one that we're living in right now. It's uh, kind of interesting in and of itself. But uh, uh, as I was reading the devotion for today, it was uh, a story about a mother who went to see their uh, child playing baseball. And at some point, it was just like the, the crowd wasn't rooting for the kids. And, and, uh, and so the coach turns around and says, is there anybody out there? And at that moment, um, suddenly all the parents started you know, cheering on their kids. Great hit, good catch, all these different things they were saying and uh, applauding the kids and, and, uh, and raising them up. And suddenly the team started doing better. It was kind of interesting to see what happened uh, as people were expressing their appreciation for the kids and the game. And uh, as uh, we went ahead and I read a little bit further, um, the mother was reflecting on that when she got home that evening with her family. And she was uh, acknowledging that sometimes she didn't always acknowledge the things that people did around her. And with appreciation, she thought that maybe she should be more vocal. And so she made sure that she said something to uh, her kids when they did something and, and did a little bit uh, extra uh, appreciation to her spouse who um, would go out to work and stuff. And uh, even the person that was at the hospital that was uh, helping them find her way to a, a friend that was in the hospital. And that's kind of when I got thinking uh, a little bit. Uh, today is uh, Nurses Appreciation Day. And um, uh, it shouldn't take a, a situation like today uh, or a, a national holiday for us to express appreciation to those people who are serving in hospitals and such. But it is kind of nice that we do have that reminder. And so um, I'm hoping that you'll take a moment and uh, express appreciation to those people who are in the vocation of nursing and caring for, for people, um, particularly at this uh, difficult time. So uh, uh, the theme verse comes from uh, 2 Samuel. And again, so let's give praise to the Lord for uh, all the good things that God is doing. And um, it kind of got me thinking that... Uh, we should be doing that with uh, those people who are serving in our community as well. So um, reach out to somebody, uh, particularly a nurse or somebody in the medical field, and express our appreciation to them, give thanks to them. And uh, let's close with prayer. Holy God, we give you thanks for this day. Um, despite the rain, it is a beautiful day to be alive. And we're thankful for those people who serve in hospitals and in settings, in doctor's offices, school nurses who are caring for those people in need. And so, Lord God, watch over them and watch over us as well. God bless you all. We'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.